My daughter was born with a cranial facial disorder. She had um, a clep on her soft palate and a recessed chin, so she was not able to bottle feed properly. So she was malnourished and she lost a lot of weight after her birth weight was only three pounds. Jessica was in Buffalo Children's Hospital for about a year. So we have a almost three-year-old son named Vigo. He has Down syndrome, he has an anal rectal malformation that he was born with, and a number of other issues that have crept up along the way. Uh, he was born very, very early at 29 weeks. He only weighed two pounds, 12 ounces, and had to spend a long time in the NICU. I think the Ronald McDonald House is one of the best charities out there. Um, there's a lot of charities to give money to, and I'm very proud as an Alvinor operator to give money to the Ronald McDonald House. It actually takes care of families directly, gives them a place to stay for free, food, everything that they would need while they're dealing with the circumstances that they're dealing with at the hospital. It wouldn't have been possible for us to get that highly specialized care in Washington, D.C. if it wasn't because of the Ronald McDonald House. If it wasn't for Ronald McDonald House, I don't know where I would have been. I wouldn't have had anywhere to stay. So I always try to tell them, listen, you need to ask, it's very important. So it's, it's good to donate to this cause because they help a lot of people. The Ronald McDonald House is the reason that we were able to stay together as a family every single time that he's been hospitalized. The Ronald McDonald House and the Roundup program gives us the opportunity to give back and it also gives my staff an opportunity to feel like they're a part of something that's not just serving customers day in and day out. By asking the guests that one simple question, would you like to round up today? And pressing that one little button, you have enabled our family to stay together for three years. She is now almost 21 years old, thriving very well, graduated college, has a full-time job. So if it wasn't for Ron McDonald House, she thought I wouldn't be where I am and she probably wouldn't be either. I'm Grant Kemmerer, owner operator in Syracuse, New York. I am Tara Thayer and this is my husband. I'm Sean Pecori. And we work for Paul Ross's McDonald's restaurant in Adams. My name's Kimberly Zook and I'm a current employee of McDonald's and I have been an employee of McDonald's on and off for about 10 years now. I feel like working at McDonald's after they were, after we were on McDonald's house was able to help me and my family so much. Really um, like brings everything full circle in it. And I like the fact that I'm able to ask people to round up so that that way I feel like I'm able to give back to um, a charity that helped me and my family as much as they did. Thank you.